Hello and welcome to this video on the recent changes in Canadian immigration policy. I'm Laura, and in this video, I'll be discussing the updated instructions by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada ERC, regarding dual intent for temporary residents. Dual intent refers to the situation where a foreign national has applied, or may apply, for permanent residence in Canada, but has also applied to enter Canada for a temporary period of time as a visitor, student, or worker. These changes are significant because they signal a shift in the way that IRC officers assess applications from temporary residents who have intentions to stay permanently in Canada. They also have important implications for those who are considering immigrating to Canada, whether for work, study, or other purposes. So, if you're interested in learning more about these updates and what they mean for you, be sure to stick around for the rest of the video. We'll be diving into the details of the new instructions, discussing how IRC officers assess dual intent, and exploring the various temporary resident to permanent resident programs that are available. On April 5, 2023, IRC updated its program instructions for staff when dealing with cases of dual intent. The update acknowledges that having two intents, initially for temporary residents and eventually for permanent residents, is legitimate. Having both intentions is actually complementary, not contradictory. The legitimacy of dual intent is based on subsection 22.2 of the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act (IRPA), which states that a foreign national's intention to become a permanent resident does not preclude them from becoming a temporary resident as long as the IRCC officer is satisfied that they will leave Canada at the end of their authorized stay. The updated instructions also include a section on temporary resident to permanent resident programs, reminding IRCC. Officers that Canada actively promotes these programs to foreign nationals and that Canadian work experience is fundamental to a successful settlement. facilitative pathways that depend on attracting temporary residents that have essential skills or experience, such as the caregiver pilot, the Canadian experience class, and the agri-food pilot, have been relied upon as routes to permanent residents. Other programs give extra points to applicants whose work or study experience is in Canada in the case of study permit applications, officers need to take into consideration that Canada actively promotes study work permanent residence pathways to prospective students and that these students are encouraged to indicate that they wish to immigrate to Canada permanently. In order to approve a temporary resident application, the officer must be satisfied that the applicant has a genuine intention to leave Canada at the end of their period of authorized stay. In assessing this, the individual circumstances of the applicant must be examined. The officer may consider, among other factors, the length of time that the client will be spending in Canada, means of support, obligations and ties to the home country, the purpose and the context of the stay, the credibility of documents and information submitted, past compliance with requirements of the ERPA and the ERPA that are applicable to temporary residents, visitors, students and workers, as well as information available in biographic and biometric information sharing. The instructions state that the assessment of an application where an applicant has dual intent should be the same as the assessment of any other temporary residence application. Each applicant should receive the benefit of a procedurally fair and individual assessment based on the entire context of the application. The applicant also has the right to a fair and impartial decision maker. The courts have indicated that the officer must avoid the possibility or perception of bias. Examples of bias would include that an applicant with an open or prospective permanent residence application will automatically have a desire to stay in Canada beyond their authorized stay. Now let's talk about the Canadian Experience Class Program. This program is aimed at international students or temporary foreign workers who have work experience in Canada and who wish to obtain permanent residency. Applicants need to have at least 12 months of full-time Canadian skilled work experience in the three years before they apply. 
The Canadian Experience class is a popular route for immigrants to obtain permanent residency because it provides an easier path to residency compared to other programs. Applicants who have worked in Canada for a longer period of time may also be eligible for additional points in their application. The Agri-Food Pilot is another option for temporary foreign workers who have experience in Canada's agricultural sector. The pilot program aims to attract and retain skilled workers in the agri-food sector to support its growth and sustainability. The pilot provides a pathway to permanent residency for eligible foreign workers in the sector. In addition to these specific programs, there are also other ways that temporary residents can demonstrate their intention to apply for permanent residency. For example, if an international student is pursuing a degree that leads to a job in a high-demand occupation, they may be eligible for the post-graduation work permit program. This program allows graduates to obtain work experience in Canada after they complete their studies, which can be used towards their permanent residency application. It is important to note that having dual intent does not guarantee approval for a temporary resident visa. Immigration officers still need to be satisfied that the applicant will leave Canada at the end of their authorized stay. They will examine factors such as the length of time the applicant will be spending in Canada, their means of support, obligations and ties to their home country, and the purpose and context of their stay. To summarize the updated instructions by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada (ERC) regarding dual intent for temporary residents signal a shift in the way that ERC officers assess applications from those who intend to stay permanently in Canada. These changes have important implications for those who are considering immigrating to Canada, whether for work, study, or other purposes. If you have any questions or comments about the information presented in this video, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. And if you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content on Canadian immigration and other related topics. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.